ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more monster reactions. I'm trying to do so many reactions today. I finished up Black Sails, um, did a couple more episodes of Slam Dunk, and now I'm doing a couple more episodes of Monster. It is 9.40 p.m., okay? So after these two, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Might do some more, who knows? How I'm feeling will determine that, but I need to get some water. <laughs> so, but in any case, Monster, Monster, Monster Man. One of the best series I'm watching right now. I'm enjoying it so much. Um, we're in the home stretch. We have about, I wanna say, we're not in the 60s yet. Um, episode 57, 58 today. Um, so, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this series. And as I said before, there's no clear, concise point of view that I can give you guys to um, so to, to, to give you guys on what I expect or how this series should end. So what I'm going to do here is um, for the video, for our last monster videos, you guys really did... Um, there was a lot of comments, more than usual. So, um, there's a couple of them that stood out to me. Um, you know, other than, you know, people complimenting me on my singing. That was very nice of you guys to come. <laughs> it's like I actually got vocals. Um, so, so Shiloh Garkins, <laughs> Shiloh or Shiloh Garkins um said the monster theme can be interpreted in several angles is johan is i mean is johan the monster or nina or france bonaparte or does anyone or does everyone have a monster in them like shul said like 20 episodes ago and for me that is very true you don't really know or they're not specifically saying who's who. For all we know, this entire time, Nina could be the bad person, you know, which I've said, although, you know, it feels like um, I said that, you know, a lot, of, a lot of that stuff when it comes on to the introduction um, of these characters, that these new characters come in and it's kind of like you're dealing with this trauma it's like everybody just comes in whether they're new whether they're, we've been knowing them since you know early on in the series like they they come in and it's like they're dealing with this trauma even if it's tenma just um helping these people along his journey of finding johan it's like they're just dealing with this trauma of past events and it's kind of like the underlying message is you know how people deal with trauma and versus what you shouldn't do and when when you're experiencing tr trauma or have experienced trauma like this lawyer now that we just that we just met um it's just very like the way how he just threw all that baggage under the rug i'm like dude if you found out a long time ago that your dad was a spy why are you tell, still telling people that your daddy <laughs> that your daddy is was not a spy and he was because this entire time i thought his dad was actually wrongfully convicted or you know he was accused of something he didn't do you know this whole time that's what i, I thought it was and then when lungi came in and brought him a dose of reality he folded you know what I'm saying? And he was still in denial at that point. And I'm like, you know, it's just so messed up how they deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, somebody did say that trauma. Um, this person is Nied Needheart Mueller. I don't know how to pronounce your name, man. I I'm probably botched it. Tra <laughs> trauma and identity are definitely one of the main subject matters 
that monster explores so i definitely agree with that identity is definitely one of those things that people really do struggle with in the show especially i think that's one of the things that johan struggles with he doesn't really know who he is um yeah so that was pretty much it so the ones that stood out to me that is um so yeah man it's been great it's been a great journey so far man i'm looking forward to seeing what the conclusion of this anime is let's go get it two more episodes to go and i will see you at the end for the reviews two more episodes more today not to go <laughs> see you guys for the review all right let's get it man pale guy don't care in the headphones man僕を撃てよ。I still want to know why Johan killed what they call the Lieberts, whatever. Sendit, Higashito is Kara Nishigawa, Bomesta, Libertosina, Saisio Tomonate, Mascomino Mai, Nisugatao, Arabashimasta. Libertos Saiwa, Scarata Yosumonaku, Iranse Sosejino, Musmesan Muskosan Totomoni, Akari Shojo, Miseta Kremasta. Libertosa, Nishigawa, Gokan Sola. それが実に難しいんです。あ、自由に何でも発言できると思うと逆に言葉が見当たらないということですよ。とりあえずその質問の答えは妻や子供たちの笑顔です。お子さんたちも自由を満喫されているようですね。ええ、そのようですね。現在の東側の実情を話しいただけますかお兄ちゃん、何やってんのお兄ちゃんどっちに入ってるうーんこっち当たりはい、アンナのものだよいやっかどんぐりじゃあもう一回どっちに入ってるまた当たりはいアンナのものだよすごいお兄ちゃん両手開いてみてなんだどっちにしても当たりだったんじゃないそうだよだってここにあるどんぐりは全部アンナのものだもんねえねえお兄ちゃん見た<笑><笑> ここに来るまでの車の外の街向こうとは全然違うの綺麗なお店がいっぱいお洋服もおもちゃもいっぱいねお兄ちゃんも見たでしょうん見たよあれも全部アンナのものだよ本当に本当さなんで私のものなのな
ゃん。お兄ちゃんがやったの。今までも。ヨーゼホおじさんやクララおばさんが死んだのもベーデガーさんが死んだのも全部お兄ちゃんがやったの今日は特別さお兄ちゃんがやったのだって今日は怪物がやってきたんだみんなお兄ちゃんが殺したのね怪物が僕らを連れにやってきたんだ手を出して。撃ったら銃を布で拭いて窓の外へ投げ捨てるんだちゃんと頭を撃つんだよ撃ったら逃げるんだ怪物に捕まらないように逃げるんだ大丈夫僕が死んでも君は僕で僕は君あの夜あの雨の日の夜誰かが来たニナ誰かがあの屋敷に来たニナ誰誰が来たの誰怪物がやってきたんだニナニナってこの屋敷から火が出るんだ誰も住んでなかったはずだぞ放火じゃないかって物騒だなドクター天馬<笑>ちょっとご同行願えますかボルフ将軍がお呼びですボルフ将軍ボルフ将軍ドクター天馬はいやはり君も呼ばれたのだね赤いバラの屋敷で待っているヨハンからの手紙だ私はこのプラハの病院にたどり着くのがやっとだったがねあなたにもあの手紙が皮肉な話だボルフという人間に手紙をよこすのはヨハンだけになったあまり喋らない方がいいです私は軍人の家庭に生まれた選ばれた者としての道が生まれながらに約束されていたそれが今では私を私として知る者はあの怪物だけだ赤いバラの屋敷が燃え落ちたそうだね今頃あそこからきっと白日のもとに姿を現しているだろう私のように名前を奪われた者たちが、うん、出荷場所の特定はできたのかはいどうやら2階の広間ですねあの場所の集中的な燃え方からするとお湯かガソリンかお湯やはり放火かもっと詳しく調べてみないとわからないんですが広間の壁が壊された跡があるんですどういうことださああのちょちょっと来てくださいどうした<笑>これはバラの木が何か見えたので掘ってみたら次から次へ出てくるんです長い年月を経て彼らは白日のもとに現れる But why would Johan expose this? Tenma is right, was right there. Nanda. Oh, Poncho, I didn't 
白骨が大量の人骨が46人まあ私はそう聞いている1981年あの屋敷で46人の人間が突然と姿を消した当時東ドイツで私が得たわずかな情報だあの屋敷である実験が行われていた実験はい下がって下がってこれは私の推理だがおそらくあそこであの子供が生まれたうん Well we all know that Johan was there's a possibility of him being born in that house because it's a picture of his mom on the window I mean on the wall そして温かい飲み物をはっヨハン素敵な名前なのにヨハンあの子たちに名前はなかった私があの子にヨハンと名前をつけたとき彼の中の何かが目覚めてしまったのかいや、mm. 昔の話はもう意味がないこれからの話をしよう私に明日はもうないがもういいです、ボルフ将軍。もう喋らないで。エヴァ・ハイネマンは、エヴァ・ハイネマンは、私たちの組織の人間と共にいる。4人で統括していた私たちの組織。殺されたゲーデリッツ教授と、そして私。エヴァは、他の残りの2人のもとにいる。エヴァを利用しようとしている引き合わせてはいけない私は生きていようが祝いがもう歯止めにならない暴走が始まろうとしている止めてくれ救ってくれてまドクターテンマ私の名はヘルムートヘルムート・ウォルフ私がヘルムートだと知っている人間はもうこの世にはいない名前を呼んでくれそれが私の生きた証だヘルムート名前をヘルムートあなたはヘルムート・ボルフだああこれがヨカンの見た風景か名前のない世界だ。ボルフ将軍。Yeah, this is nuts, bro. So、he's the one that rescued them. Moichatane Moni Mokagiga Kakeratera, Kito Kesatsuka Tachiri Kinshinistan. 
It's a damn crime scene. ロリダ。ゆくすきさん。子供の頃から朗読会で過ごしたこの場所が大事なのはわかります。でも今君にとっても大事な場所だったはずだ。君の記憶を呼び戻すきっかけになる場所だったかもしれないね。あの県へ。
この先何が待ち構えているかわかりませんでも女の子はきっと力強く旅を続けます女の子は何度も何度も振り返り手を振ります何度も何度もそして行ってしまいました戻ってきて探しましたよリプスキーさんあなた赤いバラの屋敷の主フランツ・ボナパルトの息子さんですね He's the son? God bro what? 今この世界で分かることは Let's get to the next one, man. It's crazy. その潜りの医者のところへ行く時間はねえヘルブラウホテルへ無所より命だ生きてりゃないとかしろヘルブラウホテルだ<笑>だから女と関わるとろくなことはないお願いだ早くドクター天馬のところへ。おお、でん。うん、オッケー。は、ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。失礼のないようにな。これから会う方は、普通ならお前みたいなのが会える方じゃない。それならサイン中を持ってくればよかったかな。ふざけてると殺すぞ。この男が私の部下のマルティンですお前はもう下がっていいはその男と二人きりで話すと言っているんだあ、はい本当に何かヘマしたら殺すからなここ座ってもいいですかどうぞアカンボのところでは何年になるもう三年になりますかねその前は刑務所か何年間八年です殺したそんなとこですその割に早く出られたじゃないか
模範衆でしたからね仕事に関しても模範的だそうだね何でもやりますよどんな仕事でもねただただ女絡みの仕事はちょっとねおいや別に仕事は選びませんよでもあまり女と関わり合いになりたくないというか女絡みなんだよしばらくの間ある女の身の回りの面倒を見てもらいたい嫌な仕事だデュッセルドルフに行ってある女を連れてきてほしいと思う女と関わり合いになりたくないというのはこの仕事にはうってつけだよビジネスライクに仕事をしてもらえそうだからねエヴァーハイネマンさんあんた誰マルティン、まあ、俺の名前なんてどうでもいいんですがフランクフルトまであなたを連れてくるように言われまして誰にメガネをかけた上等なスーツを着た男でメガネの男ロベルトの一味じゃないわよね俺もよく知らないんですけどねどうやら大物らしい嫌なら無理にとは言いませんよ俺もあまり気乗りしないんで狙われてるのよ今私おおあなたボディーガードしてくれるまあ一応そういったことも仕事に入ってますんで待ってて持ってて行くわよあの男に殺されるよりマシだわ感じの悪い女だこのケツの振り方香水の匂いムカムカする。仕事だなんで喋らないのいやご希望なら何かお話ししましょうか別に話したくないわそれなら黙ってましょう<音声>お酒はお酒ないのあいにく俺は飲まないんで食堂車見てくる<laughs> she don't care where she gets booze from man she just like she'll see a bum drinking and <laughs> take it from the bum 実は私も一人でしてねああよかったらご宿泊先を教えていただけたらああこれ私の名刺を何やってんだな何言ってこの女が酒くれって言うからうこの女に手出すなえっ Martin, calm down, bruh. <laughs> This man takes his jobs serious, <laughs> like beyond. The call of duty. This car, Okibona, Shabimas. Nande Osake, Tekimono Manaino. Kuroga Hidoi Aruchu, that's a man. Yeah, Anata, Monda Tekamana. Kitokasa, no Mazuni, Rarena Kotonga, Tanoyo. So does a name. So yo. Attach that the no Mazuni, Rarena Kotonga, Tate. Yeah. どうぞ話してください黙って食べるのがお嫌なら長くなるわよねえどうぞ
私には婚約者がいてね日本人の外科医でね天才的な腕の。それでそれで私はその元婚約者を撃ち殺そうとしたのよどう驚いた私はその男を殺そうとしたのよでも撃たなかったそれなら俺の話と比べればまだマシだあんたの話って何よ言いなさいよ俺は撃っちゃいましたからねベッドルームで他の男にまたがっている彼女を。Yo, Martin, don't play no games, bro. 銃の弾が切れるまでね。Yo. もう部屋中、女の血の匂いやら、男の血の匂いやら、香水の匂いやら。気がついた時は、そんな中に俺は一人立っててね。バカね、あんたって。でしょう仕事だ。このホテルで依頼人が待っています。あなた、人を殺したって言ったでしょ。触らないで。何号室？お連れしますよ。あなたの格好はこのホテルには似つかわしくないわ。ここで待ってらっしゃい。千十四号室です。嫌な女だ。メガネの男があの女に何を話すのか知らないだがあの女がその話を断ればこの嫌な仕事も終わりあの女ともこれっきりだ<音声>どうしました顔色が優れませんけど悪い話じゃなかったわこのカード好きに使っていいそうよ何やってんの早く行くわよ行くってどこへショッピングよ本当に嫌な仕事だ Who is this random guy that's, you know, taking care of her? あなたにもそれなりの格好をしてもらわないとね。俺はこれで十分ですよ。私が嫌なの
一緒にいる男がそんなみすぼらしいなりじゃねこれがいいわあとネクタイは。She is so obsessed with Tenma. It's like Nectaika, Sayakudana. Do ya? Hm, so then I'm not done. Tada Nectaika, Kitchen to Shimena. そういう肩を怒らせたチンピラ歩きはおやめなさい普通に歩いてるつもりですがねあなたの普通は普通じゃないのよこれからあなたは私の護衛をしなくちゃならないのどんなところへ行っても私が恥ずかしい思いをしないようにしてもらうわそれがあなたの仕事でしょそうそれが俺の仕事だ肘をつかない<笑>フォークは左手ナイフは右<笑>音を立てて食べな<笑> so, I don't know anything about etiquette though あなたの話ですよ Nothing this guy knows 大の霊場だったって話嘘だと思ったこの町に連れてくるまではどう見てもアルチュ女にしか見えなかった<笑>見違えたどっから見ても霊嬢様だこれが私の本来の姿よ This is my true form エヴァンが本来あるべきところへ帰ってきたのよなんですかそれパーティーの招待状パーティーそうこれが私に与えられた仕事仕事いくつかのパーティーに出席することただそれだけそれは良かった。楽しそうな仕事で。あなたも一緒よ。私にふさわしい男としてエスコートしてもらうわ。ますます嫌な仕事だ。久々にホームグラウンドに戻った気分は、うん、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>何がそんなにおかしいんだここに集まった連中は一体何の話をしているんだ天気の話か株の話かもうどこの国の言葉で話しているのかさえわからない。俺にはお構いなく楽しんでってください。行くわよ。帰るのよ。あ、ちょっと。このパーティーにはいなかったわ。仕事は終わりよ。ここにはいないって誰が？連れて出て。どこでもいいから、早くここから連れて出て。なぜ女の手が震えていたのかこの時は分からなかった今日はなんとか生きながらえたわどうしたんです
あなたの本来いるべきところへ戻れたんじゃないんですか昔は毎日があんな生活だったあの世界に入れば本当の私が戻ってくると思ってたでも今となっちゃこのバーぐらいが落ち着くようになりましたかここも私のいる場所じゃないここも違うあそこも違うどこへ行っても私のいる場所なんてないそんなこと分かっていたわ<笑>私ねこの仕事が終わったらきっと殺されるわ<笑> She feeling it, man. デュッセルドルフでボロボロのままロベルトに殺されるよりマシかと思った綺麗に着飾ったエヴァハイネマンで殺される方がマシだと思った死んじゃえば一緒なのにねエヴァ is so broken, bro. Like it's. I want to know how the hell you end up getting, ended up getting shot. That's what I want to know. その時俺は不意にこの女を守ってやろうと思った What? Bruh, what is going on? We don't have a lot of episodes left. <laughs> oh my god. This anime throws me for a loop. See you guys for the review. All right, monster. 57 and 58. Wow. I mean, a little bit more information. Lungi is actually like us. You know what I'm saying? Finding out a lot of the information for us. So finding out that Lipsky is the um, son of Franz Bonaparte. I don't know what that's playing into. But you can see they kind of played out in that entire thing of what happened with, with Nino and she was Anna. Um, these kids basically don't have no name. They were li literally just found, you know, and were given the name from the book. And that's how he became Johan. Um, I don't know who named Nina or Anne, Anne, Annie, Anne. It's Anne, right? Or it's Annie. I think it's Annie. Um, so it's kind of weird. You know. How. Do, it's not Anna. 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 Anna, right? Anna. <laughs> Anna Leobert. It's just kind of funny to me how they structure the anime so that you really don't really know what's going on. It's like you're getting bits and pieces you know um so yeah man i don't have much of a review to do here because i feel like i'm repeating myself so much at this point there wasn't anything critical you know i don't know exactly what's going on with ava you know i know she has some regrets i don't know who is this mystery guy that sent for her to to get her this protector and what is the message what is the message that Martin has for Tenma now that he got shot? What terrifying thing did he see? 
so i'm guessing that's going to be revealed over the next couple of episodes um so i'm looking forward to that as i said i'm not going to do a long review here because um i thought more was going to be revealed for the story and that's not the case but we're definitely going to be hoping that we see something significant but i'm following the story none of this it wasn't like they were boring episode it's just that there's not much to discuss other than really you know that um episode 57 which was like why did johan burn the house down so they found the bodies now and i think maybe he wasn't the one that was responsible for that something ran down at the rose mansion and we still don't exactly know what it is about it has something to do with the um the guy that that died i don't remember his name general something another um it was it was really weird he said these guys are the only people who would know who he is so why did they die where why were they killed what happened in the house we know at one point it seems like johan and nina lived at that house because there's a picture of their mother is on the wall it's, it's just i don't know what happened in that house or why is it so significant yet to the story but I'm looking forward to them telling me what that is. In any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, hopefully you enjoyed it. I didn't do a lot of talking during these epi during these two episodes or stop to say anything because, as I said, there wasn't everything that was said. I was like, mm, I'm taking into account what is happening and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys didn't wasn't too bored <laughs> with, with me not really saying anything and you don't really know my thoughts but you actually know what i'm thinking now in the review as in there were there were little little things there that were revealed but it wasn't anything too significant where i could the only thing was the last part of his like finding out that he's the son of france bonaparte but you know what i'm saying like all i would be doing is speculating at this point you know what i'm saying as to why that was revealed at that time or how is this going to play into you know what's going to come next or what they're going to reveal as i said i don't want to um i do not want to what do you call it i don't want to go too deep with my theories you know what i'm saying because i know i'm probably going to be wrong because this is monster we are watching here you know what i'm saying and the story just goes it just touches on so many different things you will get lost in the sauce for sure if you go out there too much with the speculations so i don't want to do that to myself anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching these two episodes um as always man monsters i'm, I'm gonna keep on trucking until we're done keep on trucking i'm gonna see if i can do a couple more episodes and drop them on early reaction react early react early access <laughs> yeah it's late that's the reason why i'm messing up so much right now i've been reacting all day today thank you guys so much for tuning in man hit the like button subscribe leave a comment you know what to do i'm out peace